coming up all the way from Lake Tahoe, Nevada. I say all the way because I'm in California. <laughs> but if you're already in Nevada, then you're really close to Lee Kennedy. He is a Christian Americana singer songwriter, and he's performed throughout the United States and Canada, which is stinking awesome. <laughs> International worship leader. <laughs> um, so welcome, Lee. Um, How are you? It's good night. Uh, a lot of good music tonight. A lot of good messages. Very nice to be here. Yeah, we're excited to have you. Ben, you... It's always be good be on Red's room right there. Got to represent, right? <laughs> and you've you've been all over the place. You've gotten to travel I've well throughout the US States. and I've Canada. All through the US and Canada. Uh all through the eighties and nineties. Um I did that for a long time. Where's your most memorable place? The most Key West, Florida. Really? Yes. Why? Key West, Florida. Um I don't know. But it's the greatest, you know, when I I would tour down there, the band never wanted to go because they would put us up in this house that didn't have air conditioning. But I was like, you guys are s silly. I, this is one of the greatest places in the world. I don't know. I just felt connected there when I was there. Nice. Is it, is it always super hot down there? Uh, it's always humid. It's always okay. Humid. It's hot, but it's humid. But you get on the beach, it's okay. Nice. I've been there. I, honestly, I haven't been there since... Uh, the early 90s, 91, I think was the last time I was there. Oh, it's it's been a quick minute. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long yeah. time. And then, uh, yeah, I quit music in 20, 2002. Altogether, didn't pick anything up for almost 15 years. So, Why? Uh, um, uh, my first son was born, and okay. I was playing a lot, and I didn't want to be out. And so life just changed. And yeah. And then I went through a really bad, dark time toward the end of that. And then I discovered music again. Music came back to me, but it was a different time, a different different vibe, different whole different thing. So whole new season of life. Yeah, yeah it was. It was yeah. It seemed to come back. Awesome. Well, I'm glad that God brought you back. And yeah, what's I'm glad too. <laughs> yeah. What what song are you gonna play for us first? Uh, this first one, I'm gonna, it's called Hold On. It's about, it's, it's just a, even in the darkest times, God's with us. This is called Hold On. If you leave it out, if you got damp and gold, reach in the world. Lights up the shore Get across the river One step and fall Slip into the cocoa water Be the angels strong Hold on Help us on the way Hold on Jesus' name we pray Take in the darkness Be the muffled crowd
Holy, that's an awesome song. Oh, thank you. Thank that's you so much. cool. Thank you. Yeah, man. Oh, okay. And then Red made a little note here and asked if you can turn your mains up just a little bit that you're yep. a little softer for some reason. Okay, sure. Yep. I mean, I heard you in my ears, but but you know, <laughs> okay. we, we want to make sure we'll everyone can volume. hear you. Here, we'll give it a little more volume. Good. Okay. There okay. we go. Good. All right. Cool. Yeah. So you you had mentioned in your bio that that you had battled like some seasons of deep depression. Can you uh, yeah, I went through uh, years of it? A couple years, honestly. It was a really dark time. I um I, I don't know how to explain it. It was uh. It was a time that uh, I, I just, I didn't have hope for myself. I didn't have, I couldn't see my future anymore. I couldn't see yeah. it. Um, it was a scary time, I think. Uh, but I would get up every day and just keep, find the strength to keep going, you know. And I think that God came into my, my life in a big way then. That's when music started to come back and... Um, hmm. And then these songs came out, and these are different than I've ever written before. So I went on a different path, and uh, I'm very glad I did. My life is very happy right now, full of joy. Lots of good stuff going on. Yeah. What do you, like, was there kind of, I know with the other artists, there's been kind of like defining moments where, like, God just met them in a powerful way. Did that, did that happen with you or was it kind of a gradual no, like a gradual thing it was uh the depression was very deep and long and then <laughs> as i came out of it um it was gradual life was very difficult <laughs> and it didn't really get better but i i realized that i wasn't alone anymore i was i i just felt like i was alone and i was missing something and oh, oh i just i i can't explain it um and then music came back and it was weird because music came back into my life mm -hmm. i bought a guitar for the first time in 15 years <laughs> i hadn't sang a note or played a note after being a professional musician forever and uh i just started playing and then things kind of took off in a different direction for me and uh i felt better i felt whole again mm -hmm. uh, i felt empty for a long time and the songs that i've written like the prayer and the one I'm going to play now, My Way Home, uh, kind of kind of talk about that, my journey back to Christ. Yeah. And I, I, I understand. I've, I've battled depression, too. And that feeling like you could be surrounded by lots of different people and yet you still feel lonely. That's you know, true. it's like there's That's just true. something. I, you hide it, right? You hide it. Right. I, That's I the craziest experience. thing. And yes. I, I feel like that's kind of an American church thing where it's like yeah. we feel like we have to put our perfection on yep. to go to church and be with church yep. people. Yep. And it's like that's literally not what Jesus had in mind with his right, church. Exactly. And what I, what I learned, I guess, through all of that is stop lying to myself. Yes. I had, I had to deal with some things and I dealt with them and came out much better and I'm in a much better place today than I've ever been. And God's worked and brought me into some amazing opportunities. And uh, like this, being able to meet in Red and being able to play on Red's uh, platform here for a couple of years now. It's been great. Mm -hmm. and some of the other things I've been able to do the last several years, it's been uh, pretty amazing. Even though all that time I spent on the road playing music and working and uh, I've had more success in the last couple of years than I ever did when I was touring. So it's it's all God's plan. I know it is. Yeah, and Him kind of bringing you through that and and yeah, doing the work through. in you. <laughs> yeah, I had to live through that bad time in order to come out and and do what I'm doing now. Uh, yeah. I had I had I had to get through that. So that was a test. I guess that was my test. You know, it's interesting. Right. Yeah. God tests us. It, he does. And it's for our refinement and it's great. And we learn to, you know, kiss the wave that throws us against the rock of ages. Right. Right. Exactly. But yeah, like you, you mentioned something of, of you need to stop believing the lie, you know, like stop believing that lie that you just keep telling yourself that story that's over and over in your head. Yep. And like so many times I feel like, like, well, at least for me, at least it was the lie of the enemy. I wasn't putting on the armor. And so it was penetrating and I'm taking it on as like part of who I am, my identity and like, yep. And I'm now that lie is just, I'm ruminating, you know, and it, yeah. it was, I was a huge part of the times of depression that I, I mean, and part of it gets induced with like, I have chronic illness and pain and things like that, but 
but it's when you're in those low places, if, if you let it sit there and ruminate, it's going to take over. And that's right. It does. It just takes yeah. over. And that's all you think about. And then it, what I experienced is I actual physical pain when I was in my deepest depression and it was yeah. weird. I actually felt pain and, uh, but you know, God had a different plan for me and, uh, I, every day I got up and I just found this inner strength and I just, I could, I just felt this, this, uh, felt, I don't know how to say it, maybe a blanket of hope. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Every day I'd get up and just trudge on with my miserable life and, uh, but I always felt like there was hope right around the corner. Just get up, I could hear a voice in my head, get up, get going. <laughs> And then, it was like the hand of God just blanketing you, pushing you forward. Go, 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 go. Don't stop. Don't stop. <laughs> That's what that last song was about. Just, you know, there was help on the river edge. Yeah. I was drowning in the river and I could, the help was there. It was there. But I had to pull myself up out. But I knew I was there. I was going to be okay. It there was, had to be that surrender, right? Like, of, uh, like, yeah. yep, I'm here, but I, yeah, I know it. I know you're there. I know I need to keep yeah. going and I need to surrender everything. That's right. I mean, we often, desperation and, and surrender go hand in hand, you know? Right, right. Yeah. So, so you said your next song for us is um, uh, On My Way Home? I, I just released this. Um, <laughs> just I did a video on YouTube. Uh, yeah, so I released it about a month ago. It's called My Way Home. That's 
awesome. Man, I love, there's a lyric in there that said, Lord, I will rise, change my ways. And it's like, yeah, how often he waits for us to be like, I, okay, I'm ready. I'm going right. to, I'm going to rise up, Lord. I'm ready. Just change me, you know? Right, right. Man. Um, let's see. Hey, I read, okay. You said that you got to record with Grammy award winning guitarist, Brent Mason and Buddy Hyatt. Yeah. How cool is that? It was very cool. I went I went to a songwriters convention, uh, well, songwriters workshop with Desmond Child in uh, about two years ago in Nashville. And um, so I was able to record Hallelujah, one of my songs in, in East Irish Studios there when I was there. And uh, Buddy Hyatt from, he played in Toto for a while. Uh, he helped me chart the song out and get it and get it ready. And then, uh, yeah, Brent, Brent Mason was the guitar player on it, and it was just amazing to work with somebody of that level. I just like was blown away. The producer on that, uh, uh, he'd worked with Kiss and um, Gwen Stefani, and I mean, it was a big deal. I, I couldn't believe I was in that studio recording that with those guys. But uh, yeah, it was it was a uh, it definitely did a number on me. I thought it was just cool. It was very cool. <laughs> You're like, osmosis, let me just like, sit and, on, and gain some of that talent. <laughs> the biggest thing I learned was the Nashville number system. I had no idea that even existed, you know? And I, here these guys yeah, I are, still don't get it. They take, they take, <laughs> I know, right? So they take the chart. Buddy writes out, that I play the song one time for Buddy on my guitar, okay? And I have a recording of it, a demo, a rough demo I did, but... I play it for him. He goes, okay, we need an intro. Let's do this as an intro, blah, blah, blah. And he writes it all down in this gibberish. I don't know what, is, what it looks like. It's charts, right? <laughs> like, oh, my God, what is that? That's the number system. It's like, okay. So he hands it to all these guys, you know, in the room, Brent and, and all the other like bass player and Buddy went to a different room and the drummer. And they played it one shot through. They did it. What? Beginning to end. No, no, nothing. <laughs> Did you have to like pick your, your mouth back up? You're yeah, just like, so I, oh. I was singing along with the band, right? I was in the vo vocal isolation booth and I was singing along with the band when that happened. And uh, when I got done, it was done. I, it was done. It was just wow. like, I'd never seen anything like that in my life. It was like, it was done. Yeah. So I finished the That's incredible. And and I released it. It's it's available on Spotify. It's also available on YouTube. I got a video for it. So. Sweet. Dude, yeah, we're going to have to check that out. That's awesome. I know. All right. What song is coming up next? Is this one already released? The one you're going to no. share? So I wrote this one, but I haven't recorded it yet. I got a, I got four or five songs I haven't recorded yet. I got to get in the studio and get them done. Um, there's a saying in Deuteronomy that says, uh, remember the days of old. And I, this is, a, uh, I just had an uncle pass away. And uh, uh, when I heard about it a couple weeks ago, I just sat down and kind of remembered all the good times from him. And I wanted to play this song. I wrote it uh, the beginning of this year. It's called This Old Cabin. And when I wrote this song, it was uh, a memory I had, a beautiful memory of an old cabin my grandfather used to have on a lake. I just thought, you know, these are wonderful gifts. You know, memories like this are just wonderful. So I wrote the song called o This Old Cabin. In the moonlight's gentle glow, standing all alone. I've seen an empty cabin, a face called my own. Well, the years passed me by. So can I know as love and all in all. Falls maybe wearing up their edge, the tales of gray. 
days Each creek and global tells our story in this place From the innocence of childhood guys we'd overcome This cabin held our hearts with love It just begun I stare into this dusty road and we go Flash back to the joys we used to share All laughter, every tear, every I really like that one. I was like kind of moving with it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, you can see like Jesse put on on the the chat like the the music notes. I was like, yeah, we're all getting into this. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. That's that's nice. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so your your latest release was the My Way Home that you just had shared yeah, a couple songs ago. That. Yep. Mm-hmm. And that was just on May 15th, so that hasn't been super long, right? Do you yep. have any planned upcoming releases or anything that you're yeah, working, I'm working on? on some i've been i've been doing a lot of co-writing i, I co-write with a guy from texas every every monday so i've been doing a oh, lot wow. of that and uh um i've got like four or five songs this next one i actually debuted on reds the last time i was here and i i wanted to i want to record it uh and i want to record obviously i want to record uh my cabin and i want to record the first one i said hold on i want i haven't they're done they're ready to go but i just mm-hmm. haven't had time to get in there and get it done you know so <laughs> i you just need that the national numbering system no? <laughs> i guess man I, I don't know I, I i guess i need to go back to national and have these guys do it for me so i uh, <laughs> do all the instruments and stuff but do you self-produce or are you working yes, with I producers? Do everything myself okay i play all the instruments so i do everything yeah, I produce it and I do the videos and it's a lot of work. It's a ton of work. Yeah, and with that, I, my co-writes, I have to produce um, demos for that because we present those to the publishers and stuff. But yeah, it gets busy, so it takes time away from the stuff that I'm writing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I do, I do the self-production thing too now. Like, I just production just got to be too expensive and oh yeah, I'm like, can't afford it. I can't. Yeah, it's too much. But I can do it here and I. I can kind of get by with it and I kind of sneak by with what I can do. So <laughs> I, I wrote my husband into it. I'm like, I'll do all the recording if you do all the sound production. <laughs> there you go. That's good. That's smart. Good for you. Right? Yeah. <laughs> all right. What song do you have to wrap uh, us up so with? This last one, um, you know, it doesn't matter. It's kind of an upbeat song, fun song. Uh, I, I debuted it on Reds and I haven't played it since then. So 
forgive me if I mess it up, but uh, this is about, you know, everyday life. And it's okay because uh, um, the Lord's with us. It's called It's All Right. CM's a early Kids asleep, coffee brewing The sleep is night Oh, but it's alright Day by day keeps on grinding Dreams of youth keep on fading Out of my sight Oh, it's alright Lord, you dealt me this hand, here I stand, my old side. Oh, it's all right when the world doesn't see me. Leave me out all alone in the cold. With your love, I can walk through the fire. My heart's gonna soar. It's all right. Never seem to have the money Always seem to have the worry Every day is a fight Oh, but it's all right Lord, you dealt me this hand Here I stand by your side Oh, it's all right when the world doesn't see me Leaves me out all alone Lisa remembers that one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's Thank awesome. You. I I and I wrote down some of the lyrics that were standing out to me. The Lord, you dealt me this hand. Here I stand by your side. And it's all right when the world doesn't see me. And then I found right. strength in your stillness. It's like, dude, God, like every single time, he just like weaves everything together and it really has come back full circle, right? Is like, mm -hmm. yeah, the world doesn't offer us anything, like right. anything good. It's all bad. And yet it's, we find our strength in the Lord and in, in right. sitting before him, sitting still, waiting on him and he renews our strength. And it's like, oh, he just brought it back full with you at the last song. And <laughs> it's just, I get so excited when the Holy Spirit does stuff like that because <laughs> we couldn't have planned it. You know, like we could try to, we could have tried to plan it better, but it wouldn't, right. it wouldn't be as great. <laughs> but, oh man. Thank you so much. And no, no, thank I you for hosting. It's great. It's great. And I really I have to ask you a silly question though, because this is going to become a That's tradition great. when I host. <laughs> okay. What do you got? Okay. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? McDonald's. No way. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what's what specific for McDonald's? You have like 
like a quarter specific thing that you cheese, always get man. quarter pound cheese no onions if i could eat that every day i'd be a happy man oh my gosh quarter pounder quarter, quarter pounder pound cheese. with cheese oh <laughs> no, no any mcflurries are we an no, ice cream man no. pound with cheese and i'm good I, i'd be a happy <laughs> guy <laughs> that's awesome okay and if we want to find you and follow you which of course we do where do we do that uh, LeeKennedyMusic.com is my uh, website. You can sign up for the mailing list there. Um, I'm on all the social media platforms, Facebook, Lee Kennedy Music, um, TikTok. I just started my TikTok channel, so I'm on TikTok. Uh, nice. Instagram, uh, YouTube, Lee Kennedy Music. Just look up Lee Kennedy Music. I'm everywhere. So, And I do have new stuff coming out. So I just released My Way Home. Uh, I got to figure out what the next one's going to be, but I got to get in the studio and get another one out here pretty quick. Yeah. How are you liking TikTok? I know I, I've been throwing yeah. that around too. Like, oh, I should I'm jump on sure. there. But... I have like, I don't know, I have like 11,000 followers on Facebook, but I haven't been able to crack the Instagram code or the TikTok code. So I don't, you know, I'm not a social media guy. I try, but Facebook seems to be where I get a lot of traffic. So Yeah. I feel like Facebook's like the tried and true social media platform, right? And all these other ones, you're like... <laughs> Uh, hit and miss my, my my kids would say you gotta get on tiktok gotta get on tiktok and so i try it i'm like well, i don't know what i'm doing what am i doing here <laughs> yeah you're like am i supposed to sing and dance <laughs> yeah, what am I doing here guys so it's kind of fun but yeah awesome. the music across all social media and i i have a bunch of music on spotify and all the streaming services too so nice oh we just i just saw a a uh, comment from Rand. He said he was the king on MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> oh <Okay>. man, <laughs> MySpace. Is that even uh, still up anymore? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh well, thank you so much, Lee, for joining us and for your music and sharing your story because it is it's very encouraging to be able to see where we were and where God met us and how He got us through and and He's God's so good. <laughs> yeah, I agree, hundred yeah. percent. Thank you so much for hosting. Great job tonight. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Awesome.